Thank you, Jean. That was fine. Oh, Mr. Maris, I forgot to congratulate you on winning the Grand Oak case. You know, aside from my secretary, I think you're about my most faithful fan. Which reminds me, I promised to take you to see a court trial, and I never have. And I'm not the kind of girl to let a man break his promise. You have my phone number. I'll just have to wait for you to call. I hope it's soon. Okay. That was a near tragedy. Thought I'd almost lost my dancing shoes. Hi. Hi, Rumi. Got back just in time to say goodbye. Flight was half an hour behind schedule. Storm. Where are you off to? Where else but dear old St. Louis? Hi, Sue. Welcome home. Oh, I almost forgot. That uh, handsome attorney I told you about, Mr. Maris, uh -huh. was on my flight today. And I think I managed to shame him into a date. At least I hope so. Well, things are really looking up. Oh, speaking of dates, Ralph Daly came by for you about a half an hour ago. Oh, I almost forgot. You forget a good-looking pilot? Well, anyway, he checked with the flight desk. He knew you'd be late, and he wants you to be sure and call him at the Galaxy Bar. Oh, uh... Don't fight over the boys while I'm away, girl. It never fails. The line in that place is always busy. Ralph have anything to say? No. Operator, give me the telephone number of Herbert L. Maris. And hurry, please. I left stewardess Jean Davis at the airport. I made a mental promise to show her a court trial sometime this week. However, when I answered her call for help, I wondered whether she'd be in court as a spectator or as a defendant. Miss Davis, are you sure there was no one else in the apartment while you were shot? No, I'm not sure. But I don't think anyone else was here. What's wrong, John? Uh, the uh, coroner's report raises some questions. Now, Ms. Davis, you admitted the gun that we found was registered in your name, is that right? Yes, but all three of us, Sue, Claudia, and myself, we all chipped in for it. I told you, Lieutenant, we had a burglary here about three months ago, and I was scared. Uh, I see. Now, uh, the gun was kept in that desk over there, is that right? Yes. Who else was here when you came home? Just Sue and Claudia, my other roommate, but uh, she left for the airport right after I arrived. What happened after Claudia left? Nothing. It, I I was late for my date with Ralph. I, I tried to phone him, but the line was busy, so I decided to shower first and try reaching him afterwards. Where was Ralph? At a bar, the Galaxy. Miss Davis, when girls share an apartment, occasionally there are differences, friction over little things. Now, did you and Sue get along, or did you quarrel much? Only the, the usual roommate kind of quarrels, nothing important. What are you suggesting, Lieutenant? Just this, Counselor. I find it hard to believe that she couldn't hear the blast from a 32 just 25 feet from where it was fired. It's true, I didn't. I, I was in the shower. I wear a swimming cap to keep my, my hair dry and it covers my ears. After your shower, what did you argue with Sue about? There was no argument. You're trying to make me say that I killed her. I didn't. 
I, she was dead. I found her dead. John, it just doesn't make sense. She couldn't have created a more incriminating situation. Really? Makes sense to the coroner and my fingerprint man. Now, there's no evidence to show that anyone else was in the apartment. No sign of a struggle. The Harrington girl was shot through the back by someone she knew. The gun was wiped clean of prints and placed in her hands. A pretty clumsy attempt to make it look like suicide. Sorry, Miss Davis. I'm going to have to hold you for further questioning. Jean, I'm reneging on my promise. I'm going to do my best to keep you out of that courtroom. And I'll keep your date with Ralph. <laughs> Bartender? Excuse me. Yeah? Uh, do you know if there's a Ralph Daly here? Ralph Daly? Yes. Yeah, there he is over at that table. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Ralph. Daly, my name is Maris. Could I talk to you for a minute? Sit down. Maris, I can't place it. You with the airline? No, but we have a mutual friend, Gene Davis. Uh, small world. We have a date tonight. I know. I'm her attorney. Attorney? Well, you've come to the wrong place. She can't sue me for divorce. We're not married. Uh, I don't owe her any money. I've never said anything libelous about her. Now, what can I do for you? One of her roommates was killed. Sue Harrington. Sue? Killed? <sighs> I, I can't believe it. This must be some kind of a joke, mister. I never joke about murder. Murder? You were at Jean's apartment earlier this evening. Well, uh, sure, but only for a few minutes. I, I left when I found out her flight was going to be late. And afterwards, you were going to come back for it? No, no, I, I said I'd call her if she could reach me here. But instead of calling, you decided to come back to the apartment. No, look, buddy boy, I don't know what course you're navigating. But you're not getting anything else out of me without counsel. You won't need counsel if you're not involved. What are you trying to hide, Mr. Daly? Nothing, mister. Nothing. Come on, you. Look, I don't want any trouble in my place here. There won't be any. Well, okay. Well, yeah. A little information. Do you know that uh, Ralph Daly, the pilot I was just talking to? Sure, he comes in here once in a while. A lot of the fly boys come by here. They like the atmosphere. How long has he been here tonight? Oh, I wouldn't know. I've been too busy to pay any attention to anything like that. Why, uh, why all the questions about Ralph? The stewardess named Sue Harrington was murdered this evening. Oh, no. Oh, no. Little Sue? That's right. Oh, it's a shame. She was a real nice kid. Say, so you, uh, you thinking that Ralph killed her? I didn't say that. Why, he couldn't have. Ralph must have cracked up over that. Why? Why do you say that? Why? Why, those two used to go together. In fact, a little while ago, it looked like they were going to get hooked up. You mean Ralph planned to marry Sue? Well, that's the way it looked. But a couple of months ago, Ralph came in here one night looking very unhappy. He said something about splitting up with Sue, and then he went on a big jack. Had to pour him into a cab to get him home. Since then, did he ever date Sue? Well, I don't know about that, but he never brought her back here again. Killed? Killed? Oh, that's too bad. When the airline contacted me. Miss Scott, when you left the apartment two days ago, was everything between Sue and Jean all right? Yes. You're sure about that? There wasn't any quarrel, any trouble of any kind? Well, at that point, I think everything was settled. What was settled? Miss Scott, no matter how you may feel about either girl, it's very important that you answer the lieutenant's question. About two months ago, Jean started dating a man that Sue had broken off with. You mean Ralph Daly? That's right. How did you know? Well, look, Miss Scott, 
I want you to think very carefully before answering this question. Is it possible that Sue could have been dating Daly on the sly without Jean knowing it? I guess she could have while Jean was away on a flight. I mean, Sue had dates, but I never saw who with she. She never brought them to the apartment. I wasn't trying to hide anything, Mr. Maris. Ralph and Sue haven't had anything to do with one another for months. Two months, to be exact. Now, listen to me, Jean. Unless you tell me the whole truth about this affair, you'll be seeing a court trial, all right, from a reserved seat. Now, why did Ralph and Sue break up? Sue had been running around with a lot of other men. Ralph found out. He was in love with her, and this hurt him, so he broke it off. And how'd you fit in? Innocently enough. He came over and cried on my shoulder. He thought he'd made a mistake. But you didn't. I didn't offer an opinion, Mr. Maris. He asked me to talk to Sue, and I did. And what was her reaction? Gina, I want the truth. What is it? She was... said she wasn't interested. But the minute he started dating me, she became resentful. She said I was being disloyal as a friend. And you quarreled about it. But the quarrel was unimportant. You're being rational, Jean, and murder isn't. By withholding information about your relationship with Sue, you've given the police a neat motive and undermined your whole case. But it only lasted for a few weeks, and then one day she said she was sorry, and it was all over with. You mean two women quarrel about a man and then just make up like that? That's what happened. Jealous emotions aren't soothed that easily. Could be you were both pretending, but underneath, the jealousy was there all the time. Then suddenly, one day, Sue tells you that she's been seeing Ralph. The police are bound to think that you grabbed the gun in a jealous rage and shot her in the back. Now, Lieutenant Weston thinks you killed her. Did you, Jean? No, I, I didn't. It isn't true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to find out that you were... Listen to me. Jean, listen. This is a thing that you've got to face. Ralph was there at the apartment earlier. Now, he must have known where the gun was kept. He knew that Claudia was leaving. He knew that your plane was late. This was a perfect chance to soothe his wounded ego. I don't believe it. He wouldn't kill her for a reason like that. Besides, he didn't care that much anymore. I know it. Well, that's, uh... Stop what, what he would kill her for, hmm? Oh, please, please don't get Ralph involved. Look, you're being noble. What are you protecting Ralph for? What are you holding back? Now, what is it? Well... Soon after Ralph and Sue broke up, they were assigned to a Miami flight together. Something happened. We went on very good terms at the time, and so she wouldn't tell me what it was. She just said that she never wanted to fly with him again, that he was irresponsible. Then why didn't you report it to the airline? She was going to, but Toadie, the co-pilot, talked her out of it. She was being vindictive. I know it. Supposing that uh, her accusation could be proved true. Then he would have lost his job. It might have even ended his career as a pilot. Guard. I don't know where you got your information, but it's all wet. Ralph's been flying for almost 15 years, and his record is clean, completely. Then why did you persuade Sue Harrington not to report him to the airline? How did you hear about that? We hear, Tony. Now tell us what happened, and we want the truth this time. All right, Lieutenant. We had a layover in Miami the night before the return flight. Ralph ran into an old wartime buddy. He picked him up at the bar, and they went out to dinner. Well, anyway, Sue saw Ralph walk into the bar, and the next day on the return flight, she came up front just when Ralph got pretty sick. Well, she thought he was drunk and threatened to report him. Well, was he? No. Pilots don't have drinks the day before they fly. What was wrong with it? He had food poisoning. Why'd he take the flight? 
Well, he thought he was okay, but we ran into rough weather. He wasn't sick until we were airborne. That's one of the reasons we have co-pilots. I was there. That's all you want. I have to go aboard. Oh, wait a minute, Cody. We're not quite through yet. You know, I don't get it. What's all this got to do with Sue's murder? If Sue had threatened to expose this incident to the airline, Ralph would have been through, all washed up, wouldn't he? No, of course not. My statement would have negated anything she could say. But they couldn't very well completely overlook the implication, could they? No, they couldn't. Ralph would have been under scrutiny. So what? He had nothing to hide. Besides, Ralph couldn't have committed the murder. I took him over to Gene's apartment, waited for him downstairs in the car. And then I drove him back to the galaxy, and I was with him there all the time. In fact, I'd just gone over to another table to talk to a girlfriend when you walked in. Why didn't you tell us this in the first place? Thanks for wasting our time, though. Well, you never asked me. While my suspicions of a connection between Ralph Daly and the murder of Sue Harrington proved wrong, I still felt he could be a source of information because of his relationship to the dead girl. When I contacted him once again, he was much less reluctant to talk. Cody told me about your conversation, Mr. Maris. I... I know I should have leveled with you, but that news about Sue really threw me. It would have saved us a lot of wear and tear. Yeah. Well, I've had time to simmer down. How can I help you? Apparently, Sue's been seeing some other men. I want to know who they are. Well, that's what I tried to find out. Well, I... I spotted her with one of the pilots a couple of times. And there was some guy down in Miami and... The one in Miami, was he with the airline? No. No, she wouldn't say who he was. Just some guy she met on the run to Miami, a passenger. And he was supposed to be just an acquaintance. Is there anyone who might have seen them together? No, not that I can think of. Oh, wait a minute. Claudia. Sure, Claudia might know. She and Sue worked that Miami flight together a couple of times. Thanks, Mr. Daly. Thanks a lot. Oh, Mr. Maris, come in. Thank you. Oh, I'm not running away. I'm just moving. I haven't been able to stay here alone ever since. I understand. I'm moving in with some other girls. Would you like to sit down? Claudia, do you believe Jean is innocent? Yes, I do. So do I, but unless I come up with some new evidence, something concrete, trial date for Jean will be set for the end of the week. What about Miami? Miami? You've both been down there in the same flights. Can you think of anyone Sue might have been seeing down there? Someone she could have had trouble with? I haven't even considered Miami. I mean, she went out down there, but it was the same as it is here. She kept her dates pretty much a secret. As if she were hiding something? Well, you could say that. A lot of people go to Miami on their vacation and... Wait a minute. Vacation? Sue's vacation? I forgot all about that. That was just about the time that she and Ralph broke up. Was this in Miami? No. She went someplace else. And it's a funny thing, too, because she didn't go with a girl, you know, like we usually do. She went by herself. Then she could have met whomever she was secretly dating while she was on vacation. Where did she go? That's a trouble. I can't remember. Claudia, try and remember. It's very important. It may be the very thing that'll save Jean. How did she travel there? Did she fly? Go by train? Rent a car? No, 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 she didn't fly. No, she didn't fly because she didn't use her flying allowance. She drove up. I remember it very well because she sent me a postcard. It's not there, wait. You know, one of those picture postcards. Let's see if I still got it. I hope I haven't thrown it out. Wait. No, not it. Wait, here it is. That's it. Got a picture of a resort on the front, right there. West Falls Motel. Thanks, Claudia. I have a pretty fair memory, but the name Harrington doesn't strike me at all. I tell you what, the girl in this picture does. Then she was here. Sure she was. If you wait a minute, I'll find the right name for you. See, it was about two months ago. Hutchins, Cox, Tyler. Tyler, this is it, Tyler. Tyler. You sure of that, Mr. Raymond? Of course I'm sure. <clears throat> in fact, Mr. Raymond and I stood for them. They got married in town the afternoon they arrived here, and they spent their whole honeymoon right here at our place. Mr. and Mrs. Tyler, Mr. and Mrs. William Tyler of New York City. 
Oh, they were a nice couple. And they were happy as bugs in a rug. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Sure. West Falls Hotel speaking. Well, Counselor, I must admit, when you crack a case, you make a nice clean incision right to the heart of it. Has he got a record? No, but the New York police have been quietly checking up on a William B. Tyler. He works for a chain of clothing stores in New York, Philadelphia, and Miami. Does he live here? No, New York. He's in Miami now. He's expected back late tomorrow afternoon. Now, you hold on to your seat. Mr. William B. Tyler has a wife and two children living in the suburbs in New York. Very good. It appears that way. Does his description tally with the one at the resort? It sounds like it. Looks like our man. Figure he's a felony, Herb. If I can prove it, I'll arrest him on that, and once I pick him up, I'll get the rest. I don't think that'll be necessary, Lieutenant. I'm sure I know how to make him confess before you pick him up. Good. You get your hat. <laughs> Thanks. Not all. Stewardess. Surely. Mr. Tyler? Oh, uh, no thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Tyler. I can't help thinking that we've met someplace before. Well, maybe on one of these flights. I make this run quite often. Well, I thought perhaps it might be in Miami. At a nightclub or a party? I don't think so. Well, of course, you dated a stewardess friend of mine, Sue Harrington. I'm sorry, miss, but I'm sure I don't know this uh, Sue. Harrington, she's a tall, lovely redhead. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Well, I do wish you'd think about it. I don't know how you could possibly forget her. <laughs> she won't take no for an answer. Perhaps she saw you in Miami. Maybe. I'm sure I never knew this friend of hers. Yeah, that struck me as strange, too. She insisted that you knew this girl, this uh, Sue Harrington. I recall reading that she was killed, and the police are still looking for her husband, I guess. Her husband? I thought stewardesses had to stay single. Marriage is against the rules, I guess. <laughs> she broke the rules. I suppose there's some sort of moral there. I wonder how they found out she was married. Yes, that is curious. Why don't you ask the stewardess? <laughs> I don't want to get mixed up with her again. <laughs> I don't blame you. Sue was killed. You were going into that building. Mr. Tyler, look, I'm in a hurry. And perhaps you better slow down. Maybe you have forgotten that girl. What are you talking about? You travel a lot, Mr. Tyler, meet a lot of women, but you don't take them all to West Falls, do you? Who are you? Or have you forgotten West Falls because you're already married, Mr. Tyler? <laughs> Your last honeymoon, Tyler? The one with Sue Harrington? And I loved her. That's when you made your first mistake, Tyler. I did love her. But she found out I was married. Wasn't bigamy enough? Did you have to kill her? I would have worked it out. I was going to get a divorce. She pulled a gun on me. What? You don't understand. She'd have killed me. It was an accident. Now, why you shot her in the back to make it look like an accident? I take him to the car. Her, why? Why do these guys always say, you don't understand? Final call, flight 732. Claudia, you missed your profession. You're a great actress. You even had me believing that you saw him the night that Sue was killed. I wasn't acting. That was the truth. When I saw Mr. Tyler on that plane, he did look familiar to me. And then when I saw him leaving, I remembered. I was waiting for a cab. And when it arrived, I saw him go into our apartment building. And that was the night that Sue was killed. You know, Mr. Maris, I have a 
new phone number. But I don't want to see a court trial. Uh.